Hey guys, what is up? It is Trigger Live. Welcome to another episode of WMKQ Presents Life Stories. As you can tell by the title, this will be on uh, how I got into YouTube. Lots of commentators do this. Usually the story is about the same. It varies a bit, but usually it's I saw this person on Machinima or I saw this person on YouTube uh, and they inspired me or he or she, whatever, inspired me to start making videos. And mine's kind of like that, but I kind of I kind of took a very long detour around to where I am now. Uh, and it's quite a long journey that I have taken to get to where I am now. Uh, some people are interested in this, I think I got a couple messages about it, so uh, I thought I'd definitely touch on the subject, or actually make an entire episode on the subject. So let's let's start off here. Uh, I was watching commentaries, not many, I watched Blame Truth and Gold Glove exclusively, that's it. That's all I watched, uh, and yeah, they were just my favorite commentators at the time. And and they held it. They're 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 very good uh, commentators, but the weird thing is, is I actually didn't want to start commentating. My friends wanted me to start commentating, and I'll tell you why. It's not because I had the best voice or the best uh, stories or anything like that. It's actually because I had the best gameplay um, at the time, and I still I think kind of hold this a bit. Is I was best at COD, and I sniped a lot, which is kind of what where the Call of Duty community was at when when I was about to go in was uh, big on quick scoping. And as some of you know, I am quite a beast at quickscoping. Unfortunately, it hasn't carried over too well to uh, Black Ops. And uh, I went back to Modern Warfare 2, and it's not carrying over too well there. But hopefully I'll be able to get back into it, because I don't want to brag, but I was a beast, beast sniper uh, back in the day. Which was uh, not that long ago. That was like two years ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, my friends are trying to talk me into this. And I was like, you know what, maybe I can go for this. They basically tried to talk me into getting an HP VR, which is a big investment, it's about $200. But I had money, and I was about to get it when Photoshop uh, revealed itself to me. Now, I had to choose between either starting Photoshop or getting an HP VR. I chose Photoshop simply because I saw it as a more practical choice uh, to help me out in my future. And not just Photoshop, but I got the entire suite, uh, After Effects, uh, Adobe Illustrator, Premiere, everything. $1,500 was the student price, so obviously a lot more of an investment than a HTP VR. But pretty much that took me off the market of buying an HTP VR for quite a while. I gained experience in Photoshop, uh, that's pretty much all I did. Uh, and with that, I only used Photoshop actually. And then I realized there was other programs to use in the Adobe suite, one of those being After Effects. And over time, I started doing uh, special effects for short videos. If you go to my Trigger Live channel, uh, I don't even know if they're still up. They might be. The very first videos I have are actually of like little shorts I have of like shooting guns and stuff or uh, random special effects. And that's actually how I got into video making. That's how. That's why I made a YouTube channel was to do this uh, After Effects slash Photoshop kind of stuff. And Although that was fun, I realized that I could use Photoshop and After Effects with uh, Call of Duty gameplay to create something pretty cool. And uh, at the time, I didn't really have Call of Duty gameplay. It was Modern Warfare 2, the end of Modern Warfare 2's life cycle. Halo Reach was kind of what was big at the time. And after a little while, I saved my money back up. At the beginning of uh, grade 10, actually, I saved my money back up and got myself an HDP VR, which was uh, a pretty big purchase very nervous going into uh, talking and stuff, but I did it, and I had done Ma Minecraft commentaries before, but those were live, so you're just kind of natural, whereas commentaries like this, you have to be thinking on the spot, uh, you have to have kind of a structured layout, and I <laughs> my first commentaries did suck, but uh, hopefully I have improved since then. And so, basically, yeah, I started off with Halo Reach after I got my HDP VR. Uh, got pretty good response. And I had about, I don't know, about 25 subscribers for quite a long time. And then uh, Minecraft came my way. I found out Minecraft and then I realized you could record on the PC. And I loved doing uh, uh, Minecraft playthroughs before, but uh, I'd never really like gone into it in depth with it. And I decided that I should maybe start a playthrough. I thought, I don't know, it's... I don't know how many people are really going to like it. It's my, my entire channel is based on Halo and Call of Duty. I don't know how many people are going to like Minecraft. Sorry if you can hear my dogs barking or my brother playing uh, guitar, but it's a, loud, it's a loud household and I have to get these commentaries in. So, I went on a whim and I, ch I chose to do a Minecraft uh, playthrough. 
and first episode I got 15 subscribers. So my channel kind of exploded after uh, that first Minecraft video, and I'm glad it got me to 150 subscribers, Minecraft alone, and then... But, you see, after playing Minecraft for such a long time, I unfortunately got bored of it. And, uh, this is kind of the downfall of that channel, is I got bored, so I, I put up maybe some Halo and Call of Duty, and since my entire fan base was Minecraft, they hated it. And, uh, not all of them, obviously. I, I got a lot of subscribers to carry over with me. Well, not a lot, but, like, ten. Uh, ten loyal subscribers. And, yeah, so they basically... That's kind of, uh, where I am, where I am now, uh, so, pretty much I start, let's, let's, let's go with a recap here, St uh, my friends try to cut, talk me into it, I said no, I want to do some Photoshop, which they're actually quite pissed about, <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny, I was like, how can you be mad at me for not buying something, it's so expensive, I wanted to do something, which, it's kind of funny, uh, but, then after that, after Photoshop and After Effects galore, after uh, starting to do some shorts, I realized, uh, hey, I'm good at gaming. You know, I can uh, now that I'm good at Photoshop, I can kind of bring this to uh, to a different medium, uh, medium, and uh, it, it should work out pretty good. And then after After Effects and after I started editing uh, uh, gameplay, then uh, yeah, Minecraft came along. And during about Minecraft, this is where I started realized that maybe my channel should use a background. So I started editing backgrounds, and backgrounds are what really is help, helping my channel grow right now. As I've said, I might be getting a shout out from someone with 7,000 subscribers for a background I'm making. I have about six or seven more shout outs coming from all people with over 200 subscribers, except for one. He has under 50, but uh, it's it's he's a he's a old subscriber. Good, uh, I play with him on Xbox. Pretty good friends. So uh, I thought you know might as well make him one. He's a uh, deserves it. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of where I am now. I do Call of Duty videos, as you know. Uh, I have other, uh, Halo and stuff, which I don't play much. Uh, Homefront, I have a bunch of videos of, but you guys didn't seem to enjoy that too much, so I don't know if I'll put those up. But mainly Call of Duty, I can't wait for Black Ops, uh, Battlefield Bad Company, <laughs> I always say that. Battlefield 3 is coming out, and I might be getting that as well for, uh, for the channel. Just all depends on everything goes, and I hope you guys... Uh, you can realize how much of a journey it has been for me from from simple Photoshop to Minecraft playthroughs to jeez, I keep on getting lost. Uh, simple Photoshop to Halo to Call of Duty to Minecraft back to Halo back to Call of Duty, uh, switching channels and then staying on Call of Duty. And I'm hoping this is uh, something I can find a good home with. I'm thinking of maybe incorporating more Photoshop elements into my videos. Tell me what you guys think about that. Uh, obviously a big one that is known for putting Photoshop into his videos is Onslaught. He has, I don't know, like 100,000 subscribers or something. He has a great amount of subscribers. And uh, luckily I'm pretty good with Photoshop. And I'm actually, just recently I realized uh, I was good with Photoshop, but I wanted to be better. So I'm actually training myself to use some certain tools use some certain techniques, uh, use lighting uh, effectively, uh, different layer styles effectively, and it's uh, really helping me out. My newest background that I'm making for the 7,000 subscriber guy is, in my opinion, my uh, best one, and as you saw, my newest background for my channel was pretty epic in my opinion. It's my favorite background I've made so far, and this new one coming up might even beat that, so uh, I'm starting to grow with the, with the, how good I am at Photoshop, and maybe if I put that into videos, it'll really... Uh, help out with, uh, I'm saying uh, a lot, god damn it, don't want to start that, maybe it will help out with getting messages uh, across in videos quicker, or more clearly at least, but uh, that's pretty much wrapping up the gameplay, I think I went like 15, 15 or something, I don't know, 15, 11, not too bad, G11's a pretty awesome weapon, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, have a nice week, peace!